Lash. cheese curds. I love your beer. I love your fighting spirit. I love it. I love your governor. I love your lieutenant governor. And I love your four state lawmakers that are standing up to the machine. God bless to be here today and I have to tell you there is a a great man who would be here today if he could one year ago one of my very dear friends my mentor my my boss Andrew Breitbart was in Madison and he spoke he was there with Sarah Palin he was there with Herman Cain he was there with so many of you as thousands of progressive labor guys and gals marched all around the Capitol screaming, chanting, throwing, yelling at them, yelling all kinds of nasty stuff. And he just, he stood up and he brought, he helped bring national attention to your fight. You guys inspired him, you inspire me, you inspire all of us, and Breitbart is still here in Wisconsin. <laughs> have been watching you here in Wisconsin and I may have only been here for the second time today but I feel like I know your politics and those who are representing you intimately I've been watching your fight I've seen everything that you've been going through you know how you hear from the left how they get out there in the street and they chant the whole world is watching the whole world is watching the whole world is watching the whole world saw what happened in 2010. They saw what these folks did to your Capitol building, what they've done to your budget, what they've done to your jobs, what they've done to education, what they've tried to do to liberty here in Wisconsin. The whole world is watching and they saw it, all of it. And now they're coming here to help. They heard your SOS and everyone is coming to help. Because you have some out-of-state union bosses that want to exploit the working man. I want to say something, because I know this is going to be online, and I know that there's media here and all of that. Public sector union members aren't our enemies, but the bosses, in my opinion, are. Yeah. Yeah. These are out-of-state union fat cats who make six figures while they glean cash money off the paychecks of the working families so they can do what? Donate to candidates who vote against your best interest. Has anybody asked Jimmy Hoffa Jr. what he makes? You know he doesn't use coupons when he's out shopping. You know he don't buy generic, but we do. It is a war on working families perpetuated by union bosses and the Democrat Party. These bosses and these far left socialist party members have tried to convince workers that they have the right to hold their neighbor hostage, that they have the right for politicians and bosses to make promises with your all's money when, you're, when we're all broke. And they tell them that it's a right. They screw everybody in the process. 
And then they try to blame who? You. They try to blame you. How dare you guys be broke and not be able to pay the promises they make? How dare you? And then when you want a place at the table, look what happens. Threats. Vandalism. I know one of these candidates who's challenging Lieutenant Governor Rebecca Clayfish signed a petition to boycott 100 of your businesses. Shame on Malin Mitchell. There you go. Shame on him. Shame on Tom Barrett. dance away from his record fast enough, by the way. <laughs> that was some amazing dancing. I saw a man who's promising to do for everybody what he couldn't do in Milwaukee. Yeah. I'm trying to figure that out. out. So he says that he's going to do everything for the state of Wisconsin that he did not do for his own city. That makes so much sense to a liberal. No, this he, if you, if you were looking for a difference between Tom Barrett and Barack Obama where it concerns jobs, there isn't any. He wants to run the state of Wisconsin into the ground just like he did the city of Milwaukee. No, he can't. I looked up, I've been, I've been researching Tom Barrett's record on jobs and education. My gosh. Yeah, it takes one minute. One minute. His city, and you all know this, I'm preaching to the choir, one of the highest rates of unemployment in the state of Wisconsin. Education, when they tested fourth and eighth graders in Milwaukee, 88% of them tested on the, one of the lowest rungs of the national ladder in terms of academic achievement. And, and he's trying to campaign on that? That's the change he wants to campaign on? Yeah, I, I didn't realize that he had such a problem with jobs and surpluses and saving the state money. You can keep the change! That's, we love the that's Tom money. Barrett's record. That's Tom Barrett's record. And then Malin Mitchell. This guy, I saw an interview with him. He didn't know Wisconsin's corporate tax rate. It's pretty embarrassing when you go on national television, Malin Mitchell, and Greta Van Susteren's got to give you the facts about the state that you're running to represent. He just started voting in 2008? I don't get this guy. Says he's inspired by Barack Obama? What's inspiring about this guy? Uh, the fact that here women on Barack Obama's watch Oh, almost a million women have lost jobs on his watch. There's your war on women yeah. right there. Yeah. Our sisters, our mothers, our friends can't get a job because of this economic policy. And then they, want, they have the audacity to blame Republicans? Yeah. I don't think so. Facts don't jive too much with that. No, they... I, I, I just saw the other day the newest numbers, 8.2% jobless rate. That inspires Tom Bear and Malin Mitchell? That's what they want for Wisconsin? You have 7% of the workforce here that's trying to hold 93% of the population hostage. We are the 93%! today. I just thought I'd throw that out there. Yeah. They can't get Barack Obama up here. But they don't want him. He, he doesn't want to come anywhere up here because he's losing, but they'll have Ed Schultz come up here. Now, I, I tell you, I, my, I, come from, I come from union family, private and public, and they work hard. I know how hard people work. I came from a lower middle class family. 
I don't need no Democrat up in my face sitting here telling me about paying my fair share 